Hey, health enthusiasts! Today, we've got something truly fascinating to talk about. What happens to your body when you stop eating sugar for 14 days? Yep, you heard that right. We're diving deep into the impacts and changes that occur when you give up sugar for a mere two weeks. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our empowering health and wellness content. Let's get into it. All right, let's set the stage. We're embarking on a 14-day sugar detox challenge. But first, what does this challenge entail? We're eliminating added sugars from our diet. No more candies, pastries, sugary drinks, or added sugars in our meals. This means checking labels for hidden sugars in seemingly healthy foods. Natural sugars from fruits are okay, but processed sugars are a no-go. We'll also be mindful of hidden sugars in condiments and sauces. Let's begin this transformative journey, focusing on whole, unprocessed foods that nourish our bodies and promote overall well-being. It's time to take control of our sugar intake and make a positive change. Segment 1. The Sugar Detox Challenge In this Sugar Detox Challenge, we're not just cutting out sugar. We're fostering a conscious shift in our dietary habits and lifestyle. This is an opportunity to retrain our taste buds, break free from sugar's addictive grip, and ultimately cultivate a healthier relationship with food. During these 14 days, hydration is going to be key. Opt for water, herbal teas, or other non-sugary beverages to keep yourself well hydrated and support the detox process. Proper hydration will help flush out toxins and aid in reducing cravings. In addition to eliminating sugars, we encourage incorporating nutrient-rich, high-fiber foods into our meals. Think colorful vegetables, lean proteins, healthy fats, and whole grains. These foods will help stabilize blood sugar levels, keep us feeling fuller for longer, and support our overall well-being. We'll also delve into mindful eating practices. It's not just about what we eat, but how we eat. Taking the time to savor our meals, being present, and listening to our body's hunger and fullness cues are vital aspects of this journey. This challenge is about fostering a holistic approach to nutrition and wellness. Lastly, throughout the 14 days, we'll encourage self-reflection. Journaling our experiences, noting how our body feels, any changes in mood, energy levels, and overall well-being can provide valuable insights into the impact of sugar on our system. Plus, it's a great way to stay accountable and motivated throughout this transformative process. Get ready, because this challenge is not only about changing what's on your plate, but changing the way you perceive and interact with food. Let's embark on this journey together, supporting each other every step of the way. Day 1 to 2, Sugar Withdrawal. Days 1 and 2 are the initiation of our sugar detox journey, and it's no surprise that these can be some of the toughest days. Your body is accustomed to a regular influx of sugar, and suddenly depriving it of this can trigger withdrawal symptoms. You may experience intense sugar cravings during these initial days. These cravings are a clear indication of how reliant our bodies can become on sugar. To combat this, make sure you have healthier alternatives on hand, like fresh fruit, nuts, or natural yogurt. These can help satisfy the cravings while aligning with the goals of our detox. Hydration becomes even more critical during this phase. Increasing your water intake will help alleviate some of the symptoms associated with sugar withdrawal, such as headaches and fatigue. Herbal teas or infused water with fruits and herbs can also add variety and make staying hydrated more enjoyable. To support your body during this time, consider incorporating light exercise or mindful activities such as yoga or meditation. Exercise can help release endorphins, which can positively impact your mood and reduce feelings of stress or anxiety often associated with sugar withdrawal. Rest and sleep are equally important during this phase. Aim for a full night's sleep to allow your body to repair and rejuvenate. Quality rest will aid in stabilizing your mood and energy levels, helping you navigate these challenging initial days more smoothly. Remember, it's normal to feel a bit under the weather during this time, but stay committed to the journey. These first two days are laying the foundation for the remarkable changes that await as we progress through this detox challenge. Stay strong, stay focused, and let's power through this together. Segment 2. Day 3 to 7. Energy Levels. As we transition into days 3 to 7 of our sugar detox challenge, something magical begins to happen. Your energy levels start to stabilize and, in many cases, soar. By now, your body has begun adjusting to the absence of added sugars. 
your insulin levels are stabilizing, and your cells are becoming more responsive to insulin, which is crucial for the efficient use of glucose, sugar, for energy. This leads to a steadier and more sustained release of energy throughout the day. You might notice that those midday energy slumps become less frequent or even disappear altogether. Your reliance on sugary snacks or drinks to keep you going diminishes as your body becomes adept at utilizing stored fat for energy. This shift not only enhances your physical endurance but also supports mental clarity and focus. During this phase, it's essential to maintain a balanced diet rich in whole, nutrient-dense foods. Incorporate complex carbohydrates like whole grains, proteins, healthy fats, and an array of colorful fruits and vegetables into your meals. These foods provide sustained energy, keeping you satiated and energized throughout the day. Exercise can become more enjoyable and manageable during this time. As your energy levels stabilize, you may find increased motivation to engage in physical activities, which in turn can further boost your energy and overall well-being. So, hang in there. The initial challenges are giving way to newfound vitality and endurance. Your body is adapting, and the best is yet to come. Stay committed to the process, and let's continue embracing these positive changes together. Segment 3. Day 8 to 10. Improved Digestion. As we move into days 8 to 10 of our sugar detox journey, something wonderful is happening within your digestive system. Your digestion is improving. Removing added sugars from your diet helps in restoring balance to your gut microbiome. The harmful bacteria that thrive on sugar start to diminish, allowing the beneficial gut bacteria to flourish. This shift promotes a healthier gut environment, improving overall digestion and nutrient absorption. You might find that bloating and gastrointestinal discomfort are noticeably reduced during this phase. Foods may pass through your digestive tract more smoothly, and any irregularities you previously experienced could start to regulate. Incorporating fiber-rich foods like vegetables, fruits, legumes, and whole grains during this phase is particularly beneficial. Fiber not only supports healthy digestion, but also helps maintain a feeling of fullness and helps in weight management. Staying well hydrated is crucial to support your digestive system during this time. Water assists in breaking down food and absorbing nutrients efficiently. Consider adding herbal teas or infused water to your daily routine to keep things interesting while staying hydrated. Incorporating probiotics, either from food sources like yogurt or kefir, or from supplements, can also aid in restoring and maintaining a healthy gut flora. Probiotics contribute to improved digestion and can further enhance your gut health during this phase. Celebrate the progress you've made so far. Your body is beginning to thank you for the positive changes you've made. Keep prioritizing a diet that nourishes your digestive system, and let's keep moving forward on this incredible journey toward better health. Segment 4. Day 11 to 14. Clearer Skin and Weight Loss. Days 11 to 14 are truly exciting days in our sugar detox challenge. Your body is now fully embracing the absence of added sugars, and some remarkable transformations are becoming more apparent, notably in your skin and weight. 1. Clearer Skin One of the most noticeable changes during this phase is often in your complexion. As you've reduced your sugar intake, the levels of insulin in your body have stabilized. High insulin levels can stimulate the production of oils in your skin, leading to acne and other skin issues. With insulin levels under control, many people experience a clearer, more radiant complexion. Additionally, cutting out sugar reduces inflammation throughout your body, which can also manifest as a healthier, more even skin tone. Your skin might feel smoother and look more youthful as a result. 2. Potential Weight Loss For some participants, these last few days may also bring about some weight loss. The absence of added sugars often leads to a reduction in overall calorie intake as you're cutting out high-calorie, low-nutrient foods. Additionally, your body is becoming more efficient at using stored fat for energy. However, it's important to note that weight loss varies from person to person, and factors like individual metabolism, exercise routine, and overall diet play a significant role. The goal here isn't just about losing weight, but about adopting a sustainable, healthier lifestyle. Remember, this isn't the end of the road, it's a checkpoint. After this detox challenge, consider reintroducing natural sugars in moderation and being mindful how your body reacts. Let's celebrate these achievements and look forward to continued progress in our health and wellness journey. Remember, it's all about making conscious choices for your health and well-being. If you're considering a sugar detox, 
consult with a healthcare professional to ensure it's the right fit for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family.